Closet Nail Freak again with a Prinspiration Nanny, Diamonds and Pearls. This is what I had done back in May of this year. As you can see, here we go. This is what you're going to need to get your Prinspiration Nanny started for Diamonds and Pearls water slide decals on my home printer that I had done. A peel off base coat that you don't need, but I'm using for the purpose of this video. I've got my cotton claw just in case I need it. Probably not for the purpose of this video, but I also have a little, this is actually a top to this stamper here that I'm going to be putting my water in for my decal. And I've got my lovely trusty China glaze colors that I use for pretty much every manicure. This is liquid leather. The black and sweet hook is the pink and both lovely colors that I'm going to be using for this Nanny. And I also have diamonds. Not really diamonds, but some lovely rhinestones. I forget the size, but I'll put a description, put them in the description boxes to show you where you can get them. And I found these cute little lady tweezers at Sally's for a dollar for my decal, delicate handling, and some dotting tools to make my pearls. You can find these in any beauty supply, nail supply store online. So there you have it, all the tools you need. So I'm just going to start by putting my peel off base coat here. No big deal. Um, but if you're going to be using a peel off base coat for any reason, just be sure you put it on thick because if you put it on really thin, you're going to end up scraping on your nail harder than you need to. So, but I'm just using it just for this video because I'm not going to be wearing the Prinspiration Nanny uh, for the week. I'm just doing the demo for the video. That way I can take it off super easy and it peels off and I don't have to use any harsh acetone to take off the mani. So just getting finishing up the peel off base coat and I'm ready to get my colors going. Once again, just a reminder, this is how it's supposed to look. This is just showing you on my phone from my Instagram account, Closet Nail Freak. So that is Prince himself on my finger and came out pretty good. So here's my long and luxurious thumbnail. I'm going to start by just creating a French tip with the sweet hook color by China Glaze. It's like a, a pinkish, lightish purple. Um, so I'm just doing it by hand. I'm totally freehanding it. It's relatively easy to do. And any bumps that there are, you can just clean up with your cleanup brush. And the cleanup brush I use is I get from e.l.f. And it cost me only a dollar and it serves the job. I bought like a dozen of them. Oh, there you go. Uh, acetone. Got to have your acetone handy for those cleanups that you'll need as you're going through your manicure. I always have that around whenever I'm doing any kind of stamping designs or any designs whatsoever. As with here. So I had to clean this off just a little bit, kind of neaten it up. And, you know, don't stress if you get any on your skin. Just keep on until you get it right. I mean, it's as simple as that, not difficult at all. So I'm just going to go over the rest of my nails to create the French tip with the China glaze. And like I said, you can clean up any bumps with the cleanup brush and acetone. And unfortunately, if you're like me and you've got a base coat on that is going to take it off, but sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. You just have to wing it and you're going to cover it with clear coat anyway. So it doesn't matter. So it's totally fine. I got a little cut on my ring finger there. It was, I think I did this tutorial right before Thanksgiving, after Thanksgiving, food prep, food prep accident. So forgive the scab, but that's what that's about. And as you can see, it's relatively easy to just create the French tip freehanded. If you want to be super precise, of course you can use guides. So I'm finishing up and doing a little cleanup here with the cleanup brush. And I'm saving my middle finger for my decal. Now, I want to reiterate that, oh, never mind. We're at, we're at the water. So here's the water <laughs> in the top of the stamper, of my clear stamper. And it's just big enough for my decal. So I'm going to just cut the decal out and make it a little rounded at the top so it fits properly. Get it as close to my cuticle as possible cut it in the shape of my nail. Now you'll see I'm cutting it big here, but no worries. My motto is it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it because you can always clip away. You can't add to. 
So it's better to have more than you need, definitely. Because once it's gone, it's gone. So you just dip it in the water. The prescribed time, I'd say maybe 30 seconds to a minute until you see the edges lift. And I'm a little impatient, so I'm using the tweezers to kind of swish it around and see if it's ready. Oh, 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 and we have liftoff. So it's ready, it's ready to get out of the water. And it's also important that you use filtered water. Yes, please be sure your decal nail is painted white and somewhat dry. So you'll see here what's off, what happened off camera is that I put the decal on first. So I'm starting over. I didn't want to go through another decal. So I'm carefully, carefully with the tweezers, carefully placing it ever so gently, ever so gently. Oh, oh, not quite right, not quite right. Have to do it again. Oh, oh, nope, not quite centered. There we go. There we go. Now, just pull, but but don't don't let it catch. So your nail polish has to be somewhat dry so it sticks, but not bone dry, because if it's too dry, it's gonna slide off. I'm just gonna keep explaining because I'm having a hard time keeping my uh, finger in the frame, but just pat it down. Do you don't want to overhandle it or as you'll see here, it'll get <laughs> the ink will start to disappear and you'll have a wonky design, but learn from my mistakes. So I'm going to start with my pearls, my black pearls here with the dotting tool. So I got some of that liquid leather and just freehanding it, just dotting along the edge of the polish and up and down the nail up until I get to the edge. So diamonds and pearls that's the theme so I've got my black pearls here and um, there you have it gonna dot a little clear coat here for my diamond on my ring finger just because I just think it's appropriate to have the diamond on the ring finger and there you go rhinestone rather I just like saying diamond but again gently with the tweezer Ooh, pretty tap 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 Tap, tap, tap. And a lovely top coat by Super Chic Lacquer. The macro top coat. It dries pretty quickly. So using that to... Ooh, pretty. I'm going to use that top coat to finish off the mani. And it's as simple as that, really. Oh, oh I just love those sparkles. Look at that. Yeah, so for the finger that has the rhinestone on it, I'm just kind of painting around and a little over, letting that top coat kind of ooze around so it just holds it a little more in place. And that's basically it. Diamonds and pearls. Look at Prince. Aw, he's a little bubbly, but it's okay. Learn from my mistakes. The less you handle your decals, the better. And please note that you don't want to um, use acetone well, if you use acetone, it's not going to melt it away because it's plastic. And yeah, yeah, I get I get that the dot is a little wonky. So don't worry about it. It's just a demo. But um, acetone isn't going to melt it away because it's plastic. And you just have to kind of tuck it in. But again, a reminder, this is what it's supposed to look like. Nice and perfect. And there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure you follow me on all of my social media. And don't forget to subscribe.